What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with a brand new review for the haves and the have-nots. Oh god, this episode of the haves and the have-nots. And for next week to be the series finale, I just don't know how this show is going to end. I, I'm, 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 I'm interested to see how this show is going to end. I have low expectations, honestly. And that makes me that makes me leery about other shows that I watch of Tyler Perry's, like Sisters. Um, Sisters and The Oval. Like, you guys know I love those. You guys know for a fact I love The Oval. And you guys know I love Sisters. And if, when those shows come to an end, I hope and pray even the Medea series that he got coming up like I'm I'm worried about that one too like, I'm just worried about the direction of his shows I really like honestly we need a writing we need a writer's room now kind, kind of pivoting on what Ash was in her video like did they know that this shit was going did they know that the season was this was going to be the last season when they filmed this or what because I feel like we're going to go into the finale. I feel like we're going to end the series with more questions than answers. But you guys, this is season 8, episode 16. The episode is titled Trouble Man. Before we get into the review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel, why are we still doing this song and dance? Hit that subscribe button, you guys. Hit the notification bell button so you guys are notified of when I drop any other videos. And let's go, without further ado, you guys, let's talk about the haves and the have-nots, shall we? This might be a short video, because it ain't really much. All right, you guys, so you guys remember in the last episode, it ended with Candace waking up and Oscar being in her room, right? And Oscar said, we're all here. And much like I figured in last week's episode, I figured we would see people from, I, actually, I said it in the video. I said we would see people from the dead come back. And I was correct. And I remember I said I said we might see Erica, but I was like Erica was not killed by Candace. Erica was killed by Veronica, but Candace had wrong Erica. So suffice it to say, we saw Erica, we saw Quincy Jr., we saw Quincy, we saw War, and we had um, it was Oscar, Quincy, War, Quincy Jr., and Erica. So all five of them are back, and they are saying that they're going to destroy Candace. But it ended up being a dream. And Benny was Benny is the one that woke Candace up, right? So, wait a minute. When did I go somewhere? Like, uh, okay. I, I don't know. I had moved it. Okay. Looking at my gas tank, you guys. I just filled my car up yesterday, and it's already, it's already half full. I didn't go anywhere yesterday. Okay, whatever. Um... She asked Benny, where was he at? He said he was with that, with um, Rihanna. Rihanna, Brianna, whatever the fuck her name is. I know it's Rihanna, you guys. I'm just being funny at this point. So she asked him, has he talked to Mitch? He says no. She says she hasn't talked to Mitch and vice versa. So Benny tells her not to worry. She says, Benny, I am worried. Like, you fought Sandy. This is a, I mean, the family is nuts. So I'm definitely worried. So then we see Leo. So Leo was still dealing with Wyatt, right? He arrested, actually, before he could he could handcuff Wyatt, Wyatt tried to fight him again. I'm like, Wyatt, you're high. You're impaired, but whatever. So he tells him he doesn't want to go back to jail. And then David says, I'm calling your father. Okay, David, whatever. Madison, however, wants to call the cops on him. But David says, no, I'm going to call Jim. Okay, David. David has really become a little a little yes man at this point. So he calls Jim to come get Wyatt. And Wyatt is trying to plead with Jeffrey. And Jeffrey's like, uh, absolutely not. I'm not going to work this time, Wyatt. I've moved on from you. I'm like, it's about time you moved on from him. Like, I never even, I didn't understand what Wyatt saw in, in him in the first place. What he's white. He has a decent looking, he has a nice body. Other than that, he, I mean, he's, he's an asshole. He's a drug addict. What did you? What did Wyatt? I mean, what did Jeffrey see in Wyatt? Got to be the body. So then Leo, his I, I guess something was wrong with Leo's hand, and Madison was trying to tend to Leo's hand, telling him to put some ice on it. Jeffrey got in his feelings. I'm like Jeffrey, why are you in your feelings? You and Madison have just been having sex at this point. You guys have never said once that you guys are in a monogamous relationship with each other, but whatever. Let's move on. Wait a minute! I just I'm, I just thought about this. 
this whole entire first half of the episode was about them. It was about it was about um, Jeffrey, Veronica, David. It was all about them, right? So outside, Veronica pulls up with. I don't even know if we know this dude's name. The guy from the club, right? The one that she keeps calling girl and all that stuff, right? So Veronica pulls up. Leo tells Veronica that she needs to leave. She was like, no, I'm not leaving. And he's like, he's like, I can make you leave. She's like, do it. And I'm, I, you know, basically threatening him. Here's another good question. Where in the hell is Kobe? We ain't saw Kobe since, wait, when, when was the last time we saw? The last time we saw Kobe was when he was at Veronica, when he went over to Veronica's house and she had him beat up. So is Kobe dead? I thought they said people were supposed to die in this season. So I'm guessing every I'm guessing everyone that's gonna die is gonna die in next week's episode. That is so ta- that is so tacky. That is so bad. Why would you wait to the final episode? If I mean, if you're gonna kill people, why would you wait to the why would you wait to the series finale to kill a bunch of people? This is gonna be like a this is gonna be a situation like who shot Jr. from both Dallas. And from All My Children, although All My Children came back and answered that question when they did their online version of All My Children. Who the hell is blowing? Um. So what was I here? Because they just threw me off. So yeah. David, they go outside, right? And um, David tells her, stop coming here, Veronica. Just leave. I'm like, okay, David, you're not risking anybody. She tells Jeffrey, hey, Jeffrey, so you see this man right here, this girl right here? This is your father. Y'all got so much in common. I hate the fact that she keeps calling them girls. And I, it's just the homophobic stuff for me. I mean, at one point, you could kind of say it was funny, not really. But at this point, it's just like, damn, how, how much can you, I mean, really? But whatever, right? So David tells Jeffrey, Jeffrey, go back in the house. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. She said, hey, Jeffrey, I got I got a DNA test here for you. Like, you want to come see it? And once again, David says, Jeffrey, go in the house. Okay, whatever. Honestly, with the homophobic bitch Veronica, I'm sick of her at this point. I wish somebody would just take a bullet to her head. Period, point blank. So then Jeffrey and David, they're in the house, right? So Jeffrey is asking David, is that true? Now, mind you, Veronica did say to Jeffrey that that is one of David's old business partners. So <laughs> so she's trying to insinu- she insinuated that maybe Jeff, that maybe David and um the old business partner has something going on, right? So Jeffrey says to David, like, he really, he does look like me, dad. And, you know, um, he says, and she took the DNA test results out and I could see them. And David says, you know how your mother is. True. We do not have Veronica. Is. Veronica could have doctored those, you know, results 100%. Um, he said that more than once. You know how you know how your mother is. So then the crackhead is begging Jeffrey to let him go once again. Wyatt, just sit there and shut up. Let's move on. Like I said, you guys, this first half was literally all about them. Jeffrey and Madison. So Jeffrey and Madison, they went to his room, right? And Madison tells Jeffrey, you don't have to be jealous of Leo. Yes, Leo's fine, but you don't have to be jealous of him. So, and then he says, plus, we're not even in a relationship with each other, which that is true. But I guess Jeffrey wants more at this point. And Madison says, you know, let's take, let's take some more, let's get some more time between the two of us, which I agree with that. So Jeffrey says that, you know, he ne- um, they're talking about the guy that was with Veronica. And Jeffrey says, I never saw that guy before, but he does look like me. And Madison said, and he's talking about the test results. And Madison said, well, you know, you know, again, once again, we know how Veronica is. Veronica definitely could have, you know, doctored these test results. And Jeff- Madison's like, well, you know, the only way you can really, I mean, find out for sure is if you take a, you know, sample, take a DNA sample from you and from David compare those and then you'll have your answer if David's your father or not he says but I don't want to ask my dad that Madison's like you don't have to ask him take his toothbrush take a take a sample of his hair 
take anything. Like take a like if he drinks from a cup, get that. Whatever you gotta get that has his DNA on it, get it. So I guess he how in the hell is he gonna do that? Oh my god. <laughs> I just thought about it. How in the hell are we gonna do this with one episode left? Oh my god, why would we inter- why would Tyler Perry introduce this storyline? It makes no sense. We now I do remember in earlier seasons Veronica did tease at the fact that Jeffrey may not have been David's son, but that was de- they 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 let it go. They never he never brought it back up again until this point. It does not make any sense to me. I I, I don't understand it. It's stupid to me. So then we see over at Veronica's house, crash test dummy is still at work, and you know she brings Veronica a drink and she's like, "You're still standing here." She's like, "Yeah." Um, your mercenary is here for you. She didn't say that. I said it. So then, um, the mercenary comes in and Veronica asks, is Akil dead? I think that's the guy's name. I believe his name is Akil. He says, yes. She says, ooh, look like he put up a bit of a fight with you. So then he asks her for his money. This was a back and forth situation. He asked for his money. Excuse me, God, I didn't mean to burp in your face. He asked for his money. She says, okay, I'll get it to you by morning. He says, I want my money. She says, okay, let me, oh, excuse me, let her, she actually says she'll get it to him in, within an hour. She says, I want my money. Then she says, okay, well, I'll go upstairs and get it. Now, before she goes up, she was getting ready to go upstairs, but then she came back, got her purse and got her drink. I'm like, oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> Move on, huh? All right, you guys, next, let's talk about Mitch, right? So Mitch emerges from getting his ass beat, right? Mitch was better than me because I'm not going to sit with somebody that just had me beat up. The fudge? No. So they start talking about Benny and Sandy, right? Um, Mitch asked Benny to let it go. He says no, right? Wait, how did I get that? Okay, um, Benny is, I'm looking at my notes, I don't understand them completely. Um, so Benny is just as crazy as Sandy is, right? Because I guess Benny is trying to defend how nutso Sandy is about Rihanna, which makes no sense to me. The only person in this situation that has any logic is Mitch. Benny, I mean, Sandy and Rihanna were not together. Sandy is stalking this girl. If this girl's on a date with another man... That's her prerogative. That's her business. And y'all, st- y'all gonna sit here and defend crazy. So Mitch asks, "Is Benny? Is, you know, is um, is Sandy gonna go after Benny?" He says, "Yes." So he says, "Um, he, you know, Ben, um, Mitch asks Benny to let him warn Benny." He says, "No." So Sandy comes in in there, and um, Benny's like, "Wait a minute! I thought you were gonna go take care of him." He's like, "I'm waiting on so and so." He says, "Go get it done now." So then Mitch starts defending Benny and he said, they were like, do you have a hard on for that black? And, you know, Benny was like, yeah, do you have a hard on for him? He's like, no, I don't have a hard on for him. I don't have nothing going on with Benny. And then Benny, not Benny, but uh, Mitch said something that made so much sense. He was like, for you to have so much disdain for black people, your girlfriend over there is black. He says, no, she's not. She's half black. I'm like half black, quarter black, 2% black, 3% black, any percent black. The girl is black. The girl is black. Like, the f- That was so stupid to me. All right. So then, here's another question. Why is Hannah, I mean, not Hannah, but why is Catherine still on holding? That is a holding cell. That is not a jail cell, per se. That is a holding cell. <laughs> That's a holding cell. Why is she still in the holding cell? How long has Catherine been in jail? And that's another thing that's going to irritate me. So this series is going to end with Catherine in jail? Why? I don't get that. Why is Catherine still in jail at the end of the series? Catherine has been in jail for the last season and a half, right? Wait a minute. Catherine got arrested after... When did Catherine got? I can't now. I'm, I'm, my seasons are now. So my seasons are starting to blur. But Catherine got arrested the same night. Oh wait, hold. This is the same night, isn't it? 
this got this has got to be the same night. This has got to be the same night. I just thought about this. Catherine got arrested the same time Wyatt. Yes. I got Catherine got arrested the night. Okay. If I say the, the night one more time when this is literally the same in the same night. Catherine got arrested. This Catherine got arrested after Wyatt shot at her. Shot her. Or did he he didn't shoot her. He got arrested after he shot at her and shot Jim. But this is literally the same night. Why is she still in the holding cell? Why is she got why has she gotten so many phone calls? I have so many questions. All right, so with with Catherine, they're putting someone in her cell, right? This is the diamond chick that um Akil called to have put in her cell, right? Diamond is rude as hell. And Catherine's like, wait, 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 guard. I'm supposed to be in a cell by myself, right? She says, according to who? According to my lawyer. So then, um, Diamond, like I said, she's rude. She calls Catherine a a, a bitch. She's calling her old. Did she call her old woman? She called her everything. Saying she'll beat her ass, and then she says she'll make her her bottom bitch. I was like, oh my god, get Catherine out of this cell like yesterday. See, okay, I'm, 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 no, don't do it because it doesn't make any sense to me. This really doesn't make sense. I'm trying to make sense of it because this is supposed to be a scare tactic, right? Diamond in this cell is supposed to be a scare tactic by Jim. But again, we have one more episode. How are we going to tie up these storylines? And then, like I said, Tyler Perry just introduced us to three Actually, in this episode, he introduced us to two new storylines. The um, the, he introduced us to the storyline with what's her name? Well, who who am I talking about? Who was I just talking about a minute ago? Jeffrey. And he introduced he introduced us to another one, which I'm going to talk about in just a few minutes. And I just don't understand it at all, you guys. I really don't. So let's move on because I'm actually about to talk about the storyline that I don't understand. All right, you guys, so we see this young lady sitting outside of Hannah's house, right? Hannah pulls up, and Hannah, like, who are you? She says, "I'm my name is Tanisha. And she's like, okay, what are you doing here? She's like, I'm looking for Benny. I caught it immediately when she had that baby in her arms. I caught that immediately. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, I know you lied. Like, I know you are lying to me. Did they have the expectations of getting a season nine? Like, because I can't, I can't understand why they would introduce these two, the storyline with Jeffrey and this storyline, literally one episode before the series finale. But even still, if they got another season, why would you introduce this storyline one episode, before, even if it was just, even if it was just a season, season finale? Why would you introduce this, this to us at a season finale? That makes no sense. I get you would want to leave on a cliffhanger. But these are not cliffhangers. This isn't a cliffhanger. A cliffhanger would be like, who shot who? What's going to happen to them? If you kidnap somebody, what's going to happen to them? These are not cliffhangers. These are new storylines that we're introducing. So the girls, like I said, Tanisha says she needs to talk to Benny. She wants Benny's phone number. Hannah says, no, let me call Benny. So Hannah calls Benny. And Benny says that he doesn't know who Tanisha is. I'm like, no surprise there. Especially when you just talking about you want to smash women. So while she's on the phone, Hannah figured it out. She's like, oh my God. That's his baby, ain't it? She says, yes. Ben says, no, that ain't my baby. Hannah's like, Benny, he looks just like you. Why do we introduce that? I, I don't get it. Oh yeah, we wrap the episode up. Okay. So, Jim pulls up to Davis and, you know, to get his crackhead son. Who says he's, you know... He asked Jim asked him, how did you get out? He said, I got out on bail. You got out the hospital on bail? You were in the hospital. Wyatt, if you're going to lie, make up a, a good and decent lie. That was the dumbest lie you could ever make up. You got out on bail. Okay, Wyatt, whatever. Jim then tells Wyatt he's proud of him for breaking out of custody. I'm like, what? Okay, Jim, I, I guess, whatever. So Jim tells Wyatt he's going to take him home, right? Wyatt says, I'm not going home. I'm going back to my loft. 
He says, you don't have a, you don't have it anymore. So then he says, it's either you go home, either you go with me to rehab, or you go back to jail. And then, out of nowhere, those, those pills that everyone has been warning Wyatt against started to kick in, and he, you know, he lost consciousness and he lost a pulse. Please let him die. Please let his nine lives run out. <laughs> Let Wyatt's nine lives run out at this point. I'm over Wyatt. All right. Then to wrap the episode up, you guys, Candace and Benny, right? So they're in the hotel room. And, you know, Candace is going off on being like, the pull-out method, Benny, I told you to wrap it up. Because he's somebody he doesn't remember who um, Tanisha is at all. And, you know, he tells um, Candace and Hannah said that the baby looked just like him. So then, you know, you know, he um, asked Candace to call Mitch and she didn't get an answer. So then Sandy calls him, right, telling him to come outside. And Benny's like, I'm not coming outside. And, you know, um, Benny then looked out the window. He's like, wait a minute. He's not outside. Because they thought Mitch had told him where he was. He was like, they were like, Mitch wouldn't do that. So then they looked. He looked out. Like I said, he looked out the window. There was no signs of Sandy. He was like, oh, crap. He's at Mama's. So then we see him over at Hannah's, and he, and this is very reminiscent of the scene with Q at the hotel. Just, I mean, sprayed the house up. And that's the episode, that was the end of the episode, you guys, honestly. I just cannot believe that next week is a series finale, and I feel like I got more questions than I, I feel like I got more questions. I have more questions going into the finale than I got any answers in this episode. But, um, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. I'm not going to harp on it. I'm just going to end it. Um, yeah, like the video, leave a comment in the comment section below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell button so you guys are notified when I drop anything else and share the video. Until the next one, stay safe, take care of yourselves, remember, wash your hands, wear a mask or not, whichever one you guys do decide to do, be blessed, be safe, socially distance, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.